Kruger National Park, home to half of the world's rhino. This year, almost 500 were killed by poachers. Over the last four years, South Africa has lost 3,500 rhinos. South African author Julian Radema holds a grim view of the rhino's chances. His book, Killing for Profit, exposes a lucrative and illegal business of rhino horn trade. The rhino war, for, for want of a better term, is being lost. Um, you know, there at this stage, it looks like it's going to get significantly worse before it gets better. Um, and what is quite worrying is there are now significant movements with, with poaching syndicates in South Africa um, going into the Kruger National Park. Most of the measures put in place to try and combat rhino poaching have fallen short of long-term success. Some conservationists say the government wasn't ready. The problem crept up on them and crept up on them quite quickly over four or five years. And they, they, I, I think it's harsh to say they failed to deal with it. I think they failed to understand the level of threat they were now facing. South Africa has opted to relocate 500 rhinos to various game parks around the country. Conservationists have welcomed the idea, but some experts say more needs to be done. To solve this problem, you've got to address the demand side, not the supply side. As long as there's demand, you'll see rhinos being slaughtered. Experts believe the total worldwide number of lost rhinos could reach 1,000 by the end of the year. Without adequate resources and government support, rhinos in South Africa face a real risk of extinction. Carol Oyola, CCTV.